So this is another wild, uh, wild capsicum. This one is from the south of Texas. I don't know very much about it, unfortunately, but uh, the plant is fantastic. Um, the stems have purple stripes. I'll upload a few photographs, maybe. But this is the this is the pod. Um, they come off from the stem very easily, like that. And let's see. And they're very juicy. Tiny seeds, obviously. Looks like there's about uh, seven or eight seeds in there. <laughs> um, as I say, it's a capsicum annuum, uh, but other than that, I don't know very much about it. Um, but we'll give it a taste, see how it goes. Hi, Nigel Carter back again. And we'll just do another wild one, I think. Um, this wild one, as you've seen in the intro, uh, is from the south of Texas. And I don't know much more about it than that. It was given to me as South Texas Wild Sea Annuum. Um, the plant is really, really pretty. I think uh, uh, there's some photographs up on the front end. That, uh, that show you the kind of things I mean, but it's a lovely plant. It really is. It grows, uh, it grows a little slowly, but um, it's a very pretty plant. Um, the flowers are pretty. The, the way the pods turn from black to red is cool, um, and it's another one that that I really enjoy. It's rapidly becoming one of my favourite plants, actually. So here's the pod. You saw it in the in the intro. I uh, probably lost half of the juice from it on the paper towel by the looks of it, but anyway, South Texas Wild Capsicum Annual. Cheers. And that's got a slightly salty, very green flavour. Really nice green flavour. There isn't really any fruitiness to it. It just tastes very grassy. There's a little bit of sweetness, and initially it's really quite salty, which is interesting. And the longer I chew it, the sweeter it gets. There's obviously a lot of sugar in the in the skins. And it's also quite hot. And it's, um, again, that's up near all of the tapines. It's, it's it is that hot. It's um, <coughs> excuse me. Again, it's a very typical annuum burn, very prickly, but it's not as prickly and uh, spiky a burn as the Galapagoense. That was even even more prickly and spiky than you'd expect from from an annuum. So, um, but this one is very typically annuum, but very nice up front. The, the saltiness is is slight, um, and the green grassy flavour is very very nice. It's really good with that little bit of saltiness. Um, I like those pots a great deal, those are, those are really good. But other than saying it's a capsicum annual, I can't really tell you very much, I'm afraid. Um, i certainly be giving seeds out to a variety of people, so hopefully some other people will be able to grow that one. Um, yeah, very nice and quite hot. So, Another really good wild one. I like that one. The flavour on that one is very, very different. I really like it for that. So, this is Nigel Carter, having a wild day, saying thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back soon with more nonsense. So, I'll see you later. Bye.